Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX, technology connected. So we're here with Sapphire in the beautiful Vrata Hotel and uh, Resort, and they wanted us to take a look at one very, very beautiful and specific GPU today. They're showing off a custom cooler for the 290X, the R9 290X. Now this is the XXX cooler that has some pretty innovative and awesome features. And they're right underneath here. So this cooler is absolutely beautiful. It features triple 92 mil fans, as well as five heat pipes. Now, some people take a look at the back of the card and they say, hey, there's only three. That's because they're running, well, basically horizontally through the card rather than vertically, which actually has a pretty cool application to it. Now, the old style of heat sink used to have copper heat pipes that would basically protrude underneath the fan so they wouldn't actually receive any airflow or any air pressure so they wouldn't actually touch it so it's kind of wasted dispensation but with this specific type of design all the heat pipes are hit by the fans so you're going to get better dispensation now one of the really cool things if you can see it right here is the center pipe is 10 mil that's the first i just wanted you guys to sink that in because it's absolutely massive it's a huge heat pipe as well one thing to mention is that the 10 millimeter heat pipe is 40% more efficient at dispensating heat than the uh, eight millimeter heat pipes, which is a huge jump in performance. Now this is a reference PCB. However, we have heard that there is a possibility that other ones will be in development, but we can't really speak of exactly which model under which branding. But what we can tell you is that this triple X cooler is absolutely beautiful. Now, one of the cool features about this specific Sapphire card is that it does still feature the dual BIOS, but it doesn't actually switch between Uber mode and silent mode. It actually switches between a UEFI BIOS setting and a legacy setting. So that you're gonna be able to get into the BIOS with whichever setting that you need to use for your specific system. So wrapping up about this card is that it is full of innovation even though it's got just a reference PCB, it does have a lot of possibilities for integrating custom PCB options and further improving what we think is gonna be fantastic performance. In conclusion, there are five heat pipes in this specific card. Now, one of the drawbacks to the original reference design was, well, the blower fan. It didn't really do a great job of dissipating the heat, but one of the things that this specific cooler does is that it keeps the card 20% cooler, which means that you're gonna get more stable clocks. You're not gonna have it throttling. Now, it does this because it keeps the card on average on load at around 70 degrees, which is relatively impressive if you consider the fact that it is just a slight factory overclock. Another piece of news actually has to do with FirePro. So this card right here basically is a representation of what Sapphire has been able to do, and that has become the worldwide distributor for channel. So in other words, basically anything that you see in store that you see that has a, or any card that you can buy uh, with FirePro, that is a FirePro card, is gonna be distributed by Sapphire, which is another big piece of news. So guys, this has been our Sapphire suite tour because, well, we're in a beautiful Vrata suite here at CS 2014. I'd like you to like the video if you like it, don't dislike it because, well, you can dislike it if you want, but it doesn't really matter. It's, you're, you're engaging with us and that's all we really, really care about. Um, so make sure you subscribe, like the video, and keep on falling back for more hard-hitting CS 2014 coverage.